Nestled in a quiet corner of the city, the Lonely Hearts Cafe was an oasis of warmth and comfort. Its large windows offered a view of the bustling street outside, but inside, time seemed to slow down. The walls were adorned with vintage photographs and soft jazz music played in the background. The cafe was known for its exceptional coffee, homemade pastries, and the sense of community it fostered among its patrons. Every morning at precisely 8.30, Claire would arrive, order her usual cappuccino, and settle into her favorite corner table. She was a writer, and the cafe had become her second home, a place where she could find inspiration amid the hum of conversations and the clinking of coffee cups. One cold November morning, as Claire was typing away on her laptop, the bell above the door jingled, announcing the arrival of another customer. She glanced up briefly and saw a man in his late thirties, his dark hair slightly tousled from the wind. He looked around, seemingly taking in the cozy atmosphere, before approaching the counter to place his order. Good morning. What can I get for you? The barista asked with a cheerful smile. Just a black coffee, please, the man replied, his voice deep and smooth. Claire returned to her writing, but her attention kept drifting back to the newcomer. There was something about him that intrigued her, though she couldn't quite put her finger on it. As he took a seat at a nearby table, their eyes briefly met, and he offered a polite nod. Over the next few days, the man became a regular at the cafe, always arriving around the same time as Claire. He would order his black coffee, find a seat, and immerse himself in a book or his laptop. They never exchanged more than a polite nod or a brief smile, but Claire found herself looking forward to his presence. One particularly busy morning, Claire was struggling to concentrate on her work. The café was unusually crowded, and the noise was starting to get to her. As she rubbed her temples in frustration, the man approached her table. Is this seat taken? he asked, gesturing to the empty chair across from her. Claire shook her head. No, go ahead. Thanks, he said, setting down his coffee and a stack of papers. It's pretty packed in here today. Yeah, it is, Claire agreed, forcing a smile. I'm Claire, by the way. Nice to meet you, Claire. I'm David, he replied, extending his hand. They shook hands, and for a moment, Claire felt a strange sense of familiarity, as if she had known him for much longer than a few weeks. As they settled into a comfortable silence, Claire stole a glance at David's papers and noticed they were filled with sketches and notes. Are you an artist? she asked, curious. David chuckled. Sort of. I'm an architect, actually. I like to sketch out my ideas before I start working on the technical details. That's fascinating, Claire said, genuinely interested. I'm a writer. This cafe is my favorite place to work. I can see why, David said, looking around. There's something special about this place. As the weeks turned into months, Claire and David's morning encounters became a cherished routine. They would share a table, exchanging stories and ideas, their conversations flowing effortlessly. Claire found herself opening up to David in ways she hadn't with anyone else. They talked about their dreams, their fears, and the paths that had led them to the Lonely Hearts Cafe. One crisp December morning, as snowflakes gently fell outside, David arrived at the cafe with a look of excitement in his eyes. Claire, I have something to show you, 
he said, sitting down across from her. Curious, Claire set aside her laptop. What is it? David pulled out a large sketchbook and flipped it open to a detailed drawing of a building. It's a design I've been working on for months. It's for a community center in a small town upstate. They want to create a space where people can come together, much like this cafe. Claire studied the drawing, impressed by the intricate details and the thoughtfulness behind the design. David, this is incredible. It looks like it's going to be an amazing place. Thank you, David said, his eyes shining with gratitude. It's a project I'm really passionate about. I want to create something that brings people together, just like this place has brought us together. Claire felt a warmth spread through her at his words. Over the months, their connection had deepened, and she had come to cherish their time together. But as much as she enjoyed their mornings at the cafe, she couldn't shake the feeling that something was holding David back. One evening, as they were leaving the cafe, Claire decided to voice her thoughts. David, can I ask you something? Of course, David replied, turning to face her. Why do you come to the Lonely Hearts Cafe every morning? Claire asked, her voice gentle. I mean, I love having you here, but it feels like there's more to it. David sighed, his expression thoughtful. I guess I've been avoiding telling you because it's a bit personal. But you deserve to know. He paused, taking a deep breath. A few years ago, I went through a difficult time. I lost someone very close to me, my fiancé, Emily. She was my world, and when she passed away, I didn't know how to move on. I found solace in this cafe. It was a place where I could escape my grief, even if just for a little while. Claire's heart ached for David. She reached out and took his hand, offering a comforting squeeze. I'm so sorry, David. I can't imagine how hard that must have been for you. Thank you, Claire, David said, his voice filled with emotion. Meeting you has been a turning point for me. You've helped me see that it's okay to find happiness again, to connect with someone new. Claire felt tears welling up in her eyes. I'm glad we found each other, David. You've brought so much joy into my life. As the days turned into weeks, Claire and David's relationship continued to blossom. They spent their mornings at the cafe, their conversations growing deeper and more meaningful. They also began exploring the city together discovering new places and creating cherished memories. One evening, as they walked along the river, David turned to Claire with a look of determination. Claire, there's something I need to tell you. What is it? Claire asked, her heart racing. I've been offered a job in Europe, David said, his voice steady. It's a dream opportunity to work on a groundbreaking architectural project. But it means leaving everything behind, including you. Claire felt a pang of fear and sadness. When would you have to leave? In a month, David replied, his eyes searching hers. I don't want to lose you, Claire but I also don't want to stand in the way of your dreams. Claire took a deep breath, her mind racing. I don't want to lose you either, David. But this is your dream. You have to take it. David's eyes filled with tears. What about us? We'll figure it out, Claire said, her voice trembling. We've come this far 
and I believe we can make it work. Long distance won't be easy, but I can't imagine my life without you. David pulled her into a tight embrace, their hearts beating as one. Thank you, Claire. I love you. I love you too, David, Claire whispered, her tears mingling with his. The next few weeks were a whirlwind of emotions as they prepared for David's departure. They spent every moment they could together, savoring the time they had left. They also made plans for the future, discussing how they would stay connected despite the distance. On the day of David's departure, Claire accompanied him to the airport. As they stood at the gate, their hands clasped tightly, they shared one last, lingering kiss. Promise me we'll make this work, David said, his voice choked with emotion. I promise, Claire replied, tears streaming down her face. We'll make it work. David boarded the plane, and Claire watched as it took off, carrying the man she loved to a new adventure. She felt a mix of sadness and hope, knowing that their love was strong enough to withstand the distance. Over the next few months, Claire and David maintained their connection through late-night video calls, heartfelt letters, and surprise visits. The distance was challenging, but their love only grew stronger. They supported each other's dreams and found ways to stay close despite the miles between them. One evening, as Claire sat in the cafe, her phone buzzed with a message from David. Check your mailbox. I have a surprise for you. David, curious, Claire rushed home and opened her mailbox to find a small package. Inside was a beautiful sketchbook filled with David's drawings and notes, documenting his journey in Europe. There was also a letter. Dear Claire, I wanted to share my experiences with you, even though we're far apart. This sketchbook is a piece of my heart, just as you are. I can't wait to see you again and hold you in my arms. Until then, know that I love you more than words can say. Love, David tears filled Claire's eyes as she held the sketchbook close. She felt a renewed sense of hope and determination. Their love was worth every challenge, every moment of longing. Months turned into a year, and David's project in Europe was nearing completion. He called Claire one evening, his voice filled with excitement. Claire, I have amazing news, he said. The project is almost finished and I've been offered a permanent position here. But I don't want to make any decisions without you. Claire's heart raced. What do you mean? I want you to come to Europe, Claire, David said. We can build a life together here, just like we've always dreamed. Claire felt a mix of emotions, excitement, fear, and overwhelming love. David, I would love that. But it means leaving everything behind. I know it's a big decision, David said gently. But we can create something beautiful together. I believe in us. Claire took a deep breath, her heart filled with love and determination. I believe in us too, David. Let's do it. With renewed hope, Claire began preparing for her move to Europe. It was a daunting task, but the thought of being with David made it all worthwhile. She said goodbye to her friends and family, packed up her belongings, and boarded a plane to start a new chapter with the man she loved. When she arrived in Europe, David was there to greet her, his eyes filled with love and joy. They embraced tightly, their hearts finally at peace. Welcome home, David whispered. Home, Claire echoed, 
feeling a sense of belonging she had never known before. Together, they built a life filled with love, adventure, and creativity. They supported each other's dreams, celebrated each other's successes, and found joy in the simple moments. Their love story was a testament to the power of connection, resilience, and the unbreakable bond between two hearts meant to be together. As they stood together, watching the sunset over the city, Claire rested her head on David's shoulder. Do you ever think about how far we've come? she asked, a smile playing on her lips. Every day, David replied, kissing her forehead. And I wouldn't change a thing. Their love had endured, and it burned brighter than ever. They had faced the challenges of life together, and their love had only grown stronger. Claire knew that no matter what the future held, they would face it together, hand in hand, their love a beacon of hope and happiness. And so, their story continued, a testament to the power of love, resilience, and the unbreakable bond between two hearts meant to be together.